there is no getting around the reality of climate change. The rate at which the global temperature is rising and the sea levels are rising is worrying. One of the most well-known examples is the already water-rich city of Venice. It is a city that resembles a body of water, full of narrow streets, secret museums, and remote, centuries-old cathedrals. The threat of the sea engulfing Venice is quite serious. In the worst situation, the city might submerge beneath the water as soon as 2100. According to NASA, significant flooding will also be brought on by high tides in the coastal regions of the United States. However, due to subsidence and rising sea levels, many other cities worldwide are also. Here is a list of what the world will lose. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more stuff before we continue. Click the bell icon to subscribe for new video notifications. Have you already implemented it? Let us move on. Number 5. Brazil's Rio de Janeiro Even if they are unaware of it, residents of Brazil's picture-perfect city have many reasons to be concerned about global warming. Climate Central claims that a 3C increase in temperature will result in flooding not only Rio de Janeiro's well-known beaches, including Copacabana, and its waterfront domestic airport, but also inland regions of the Barra de Tijuca neighborhood, the site of the Olympic Games. Barra is constructed around a system of badly contaminated lagoons that flow into the ocean, as she and her 23-year-old son Yuri Sanchez carried their shopping by the Olympic Park. Homeowner Sueli Goncalves, 46, who directs retirees' health projects, was worried by the idea that it would be underwater. Recently, storm surges wiped off hundreds of meters of paved beachfront overlooking Macumba Beach, a well-like surfing location in Rio de Janeiro's western outskirts. Two persons were killed when strong waves destroyed a clifftop cycle route connecting Leblon Beach and Barra de Tijuca in another storm surge because it was not designed to withstand such high seas. The Federal University of Rio de Janeiro and the City of Rio de Janeiro collaborated on research titled Strategy for Adapting to Climate Change. According to a spokeswoman for the city's Environment Secretariat, the current problem consists in improving understanding and monitoring of marine phenomena and the evolution of the seabed and coast. Strategies to address vulnerabilities in sectors including transportation, health, and housing were suggested in a climate change adaption plan created with experts from the Federal University. However, more needs to be done thus far. Number 4. Dolphin, Florida According to the economic think group Resources for the Future, Miami will be the world's most exposed coastal metropolis. The rapidly increasing sea levels and the porous limestone rocks that the sea area is built on are only two of the many causes contributing to the region's problems. Drinking water is being contaminated by groundwater. High tidal flooding, often known as sunny day flooding, is already disrupting lives and wrecking havoc on infrastructure. Since 1993, South Florida's sea level has risen to 5 inches. By 2030, it is predicted to increase by another 6 inches. In Florida, 1 in 8 properties will be flooded if sea levels rise by 6 feet by 2100. 94.1% of the world's habitable land will be underwater by the end of this century. Although the real estate market near the coast is booming, even though these residences are most at risk, Miami is raising roadways and putting pumps in some locations. Number 3. Indonesia's Jakarta The metropolis of Jakarta, Indonesia is sinking at the fastest rate in the world, 6.7 inches each year. According to academics, North Jakarta will be 95% underwater by 2050. In just 10 years, the area has subsided by 2.5 meters, and nearly half of the city is already below sea level. The populated metropolis is being negatively impacted by excessive groundwater extraction in addition to the rising sea level. Due to the unreliability of piped supplies, a large portion of the population relies on groundwater and collects their own using subterranean aquifers. However, excessive groundwater extraction causes the soil to sink owing to a shift in pressure which is what is happening in this location. Number 2. St. Louis St. Louis is predicted to be warmer this decade than it was on average during the second half of the 20th century or more than 2 degrees Fahrenheit. Even if there have been more hot summer days, the people have felt the change more during the winter. Compared to summers, springs, and falls, Missouri winters are warming up more quickly. More intense rainfall can result from warmer air holding more water. Rainstorms have pounded the Midwest recently, causing extensive flooding throughout the area. 
Rivers in St. Louis reached nearly unprecedented levels in 2019, and floodwaters swamped the region around the city's recognizable Gateway Arch. St. Louis is predicted to have warmed by about 11 degrees Fahrenheit by the end of this century. Winter will not resemble winter at all. The sweltering summers will have turned into intolerable ones. It will be so hot during the hottest months that going outside for most of the day will be perilous. In order to stay calm, people will rely more on air conditioners, which will result in higher electricity costs. Elderly persons risk dying from heat stroke, especially those who cannot afford to use an air conditioner. Number 1. San Francisco The new decade will not feel all that different for San Franciscans from previous years. The predicted temperature difference between 2020 and 1950-2000 to 2000 in San Francisco will be less than 1 degree Fahrenheit. Even if the change is slight, residents can occasionally feel it during the spring, which warms up more quickly than the other seasons are on sweltering days. However, the city is now facing fresh concerns. The recent drought has been driven by rising temperatures, which have increased the number of wildfires. The Sierra Nevada and coastal mountain ranges are experiencing an increased frequency of fires. Weekend trips to Yosemite may be ruined by the flames, which could also send toxic smoke to the Bay Area. Additionally, as potentially smoky days increase often, locals may begin to don air masks. Christy Dahl, a climate scientist at the Union of Concerned Scientists based in San Francisco said, We receive a lot of the smoke that comes from the wildfires that happen in inland California, and that makes it hard to breathe the air. San Francisco had some of the worst air quality in the world for a day last year when there was a large wildfire hundreds of miles away. San Francisco is anticipated to have warmed up by an average of more than 8 degrees Fahrenheit by 2100. It is going to be hot and dry. The Sierra Nevada will see little snow. The mountain range will experience a two-thirds decrease in snowfall by 2100, depriving San Francisco of a critical water source. Forecasts indicate that the seas will have risen four feet. Alameda will have significant portions underwater. Both Hunter's Point and a large portion of Mission Bay will have flooded. Additionally, floods will not just affect San Francisco. By the end of the century, sea level rise might inundate 13 million American dwellings, causing a significant exodus from many coastal regions. According to one estimate, approximately 300,000 people may relocate to inland towns of Arizona, Texas, and New Jersey due to increasing sea levels in locations like Oakland, Alameda, and San Mateo. The areas with the lowest income levels will be most at risk from flooding. The video for today is over. If you liked the video, please subscribe to the channel and give it a thumbs up. Remember to click the bell icon to get alerts when new videos are posted. Until then, bye. I will see you in the next video.